Hello everyone, my name is Ray. I'm a nurse practitioner who specializes in cardiology, hospital-based medicine. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. And in this video, I wanted to talk to you a little bit more about hypertension or the silent killer. And what I wanted to specifically focus on today is ethnic disparities. So we actually see this, that in a lot of patients that are young, especially in their teenage years, we have identified African Americans have the highest incidence of high blood pressure followed by Hispanics, and then lastly, uh, white or Caucasian patients. So if you're over the age of 20, especially if you're African American or Hispanic and you have not seen a primary care doctor or had your blood pressure checked, today I'm urging you to please, please, please go get your blood pressure checked. We've thought you know, for a long time that high blood pressure is something that's just natural when you get older. However, increasingly we are seeing that uh, even young children, as young as teenagers, are getting high blood pressure. So, and as you probably know, uh, or in case you don't know, I wanna tell you that high blood pressure over many, many years, besides heart attacks, strokes, things like that, can cause uh, long-term damage to your organs, things like uh, your eyes. Uh, you can go blind from something called hypertensive retinopathy. It, uh, high blood pressure is actually the number one cause of kidney failure. So if you've heard of patients being on dialysis, um, that's one of the most common reasons or the most common reason for um, kidney failure is uncontrolled high blood pressure. So it's not called a silent killer for, uh, for nothing. So again, I want to urge you that if you're over the age of 20, especially if you're African American or Hispanic, uh, I want to make sure that uh, you are getting your blood pressure checked, at least getting an annual physical because this will hopefully help identify uh, at an early age if you're someone who struggles with high blood pressure and we can put you on the appropriate medications if needed. And then of course, making sure that uh, you're following the appropriate lifestyle interventions that can help lower your blood pressure, things like exercise, things like staying away from uh, high sodium foods, uh, fast foods especially are notorious for having high sodium content. So anyhow, that's all for this video. I just wanted to make sure that I brought awareness and um, light to that. Unfortunate that the, there's um, health disparities among African American and Hispanic children. So thanks again for watching. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Um, I'm providing this information about heart disease and all things related to the heart and overall health and well being. I wanna help grow this channel. So I'd really appreciate you guys if uh, you'd share this with someone that you know. And of course, make sure you're subscribing so you can uh, and uh, put on your notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. See you in the next one. God bless you.